Every year at Easter, the Russian Tsar would give his mother and his wife a beautifully decorated egg from the workshop of the St. Petersburg jeweller Fabergé as a gift. The egg you can see here has been crafted in the tradition of those world-famous Fabergé eggs. However, it only dates from 2003 and was made by the Pforzheim-based Victor Meyer Company. As a tribute, the egg bears the name Tsarina. But how did this come about? Let's first take a closer look at the egg. Its royal red exterior is made of transparent enamel, revealing beneath it a pattern of ribs radiating from the apex. It was created using the traditional technique of engine turning or guilloche engraving, which involves using a special kind of lathe called a rose engine to engrave a repetitive pattern of lines into a metal surface. Like all Fabergé eggs, this one too came with a surprise inside. In this case, the smaller egg you see hanging on a white gold chain. It's closely set, you might even say paved, with brilliant cut diamonds. And indeed, the technical term for this type of gemstone setting is pavé, the French word for paved. The smaller egg is fitted with a press stud fastener that fits precisely into the little crown on the chain, so it can also be worn as a pendant. The careers of Peter Karl Fabergé in St. Petersburg and Victor Meyer in Pforzheim began at around the same time. Both were highly motivated, artistically minded persons. Fabergé took over his family's jewellery business in 1870 and, together with his sons, established branches of the company in Moscow, London and Odessa. He began producing his sumptuous eggs for the imperial family in 1884. The eggs made him world famous. The Fabergé company expanded in all directions. After the Russian Revolution in 1917, Fabergé fled to the West, where he died three years later. His sons re established the Fabergé jewellery company in Paris in 1924. Victor Meyer studied at Pforzheim's School of Arts and Crafts, and together with the merchant Hermann Vogel, he founded the Bijouterie Fabrique Vogel und Meyer in the city in 1890. He had previously learned the special techniques of guilloche engraving and enamelling in Vienna. These techniques were also specialities of Fabergé's jewellery workshops. Meyer's company gained fame throughout the world for its exclusive designs, which were always in tune with the latest fashions, and for preserving those historical artisanal techniques. In 1989, this earned the company an exclusive license from Fabergé to produce its jewellery and its famous eggs again. Masterpieces like Fabergé's eggs were the result of an insatiable interest in and a passion for all that's extraordinary in the world. One famous collector who shared this passion was Margravine Caroline Louise of Baden. To hear more about her, press the question mark key.